We'll play D and D. <gasps> Time to die. But now I'm looking for a at arms for sale. It's okay. Lore keeper, hit us with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Previously <laughs> on <laughs> Titan's <laughs> Edge. <laughs> well, um, so last week um, we had a session-long fight against the Nelfishni, um, who was quite adept at making us very terrified of ourselves. In fact, it happened to afflict three of us at different times throughout the fight, first with Ignatius, then with Deer Chork, and then uh, with Wick slash Ash as our as the final one being afraid. Um, the group had mixed success fighting it at first, um, we quickly found out that it was immune to magic in most forms, aside from Radiant and Necrotic, which happened to be both Ignatius and Rex's specialties. Um, so we happened to whittle down after some time, uh, but the fight got pretty dangerous. Um, it got to a point eventually where uh, Rex and Ignatius both got knocked out at the end of the fight. Um, and... Uh, let me see here. And then, uh, oh yes, Ash managed to beat the Nelfeshni with the power of her force turret and a firebolt slingshot in the end, um, which was quite dramatic and very nice. Um, and it was, it was helpful with, with the, the abilities of, uh, you know, uh, an enemy and Ash and Chork, they took out the Nelfeshni. Um, so then at that point, the group had a chance to quickly recollect uh, an enemy and Ignatius went to go get the head of the Nelfeshni so we could bring it down to, um, our dear Yuanti friends and let them know that we have killed this creature. Um, and uh, because of how tired we all were and damaged from the fight, we all decided to take shelter inside a nearby cave. Um, and uh, we found out after, you know, getting a chance to look around that this is actually the Nalfashni's cave um, with various trinkets and skeletons and other things inside. And so we, we left off um, with an enemy using a key that Ignatius found on the body of the Nalfashni. Uh, she was opening a chest and uh, Ignatius used Detect Magic and found out that this chest is magical. So we're about to see what, what happens now. Anemone, can you roll a dexterity saving throw? Why? Just because I want to see you roll. And, you know, you look real cool when you do it. Can I add Flash of Genius? Because I was telling her not to open it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> awesome. Add a plus five to that. Don't open it. A dexterity saving throw? Well, I was like, hey, it yes. might be dangerous. Don't open it. And then Don't she goes, it. I know. Don't open I'm it. Gonna open it. I'm going to open it anyway. <laughs> this is a Nemony we're talking about. No, I don't. Let's see what I roll. Plus five. 19. Hey. Okay. I am five, just fine. Thank you very much. Yes, you are. You'll only take half this damage. Oh. Um, uh, where is everyone bombed. in this room ah. right now? How many of you are surrounding an enemy? I don't know if we have a map of this space. I it's a fairly had... large space, so you can be far away or you can be close to her, depending on, you know. I'm probably vibing against a wall. Well, trying to I relax. had Rex on my shoulder. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had, like, I I had carried him. So, like, I mean, this all happened within, like, this whole time, 20 I know. seconds. No volition. Uh, so we'd be in, him and I would be in the opening of the cave? Yeah. I right. imagine if, if anyone was probably close by, it would have been Ignatius because she got the key from him to the noble. And Chork, chest. because Chork went in with Anemone True. first before. Yeah, so be them three. True. All okay. right. Uh, so I'll need a dexterity saving throw from Chork and Ignatius as well. Uh, of course, with your bonus. Well, yeah, I'll get that plus two, but uh, it's not going to terribly help uh, much. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Double yikes. So. It's going to be a half this damage to everyone since you guys were not directly in front of it. And as I just put it away, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's not much. It's not much. So as the uh, chest cracks open, you hear the key trigger something. And immediately you all see as a puff of black smoke shoots out from inside of the chest. And you each take 11 points of uh, poison damage. Well, Why? Ignatius is knocked out again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. I wanted a present from the chest. Yesterday was my birthday. No, I'm thankful I wasn't This is rude. Knocked out again, too. Wait, yep. you said 11? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you, I, oh, okay. I was like, I was like, are you knocked out, too? <laughs> I was like, I hope not. No. Yeah, just fun fact. Um, you know, everyone can see the health of everyone on the screen when I have it on this page. And uh, 
It's Wait, exciting. Do I take eleven or do I take like half? You of take that? the eleven. So I already Why? have it for you. You want the twenty one, you can have it. Just... Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Why are you being so mean yeah. to us? He's literally trying to kill us guys. It's that part of the campaign. Anyway, Anemone, as you feel just your lung seize up, you <laughs> can see inside the chest there is uh something interesting. I grab it. Okay, could you roll me a dexterity? Si- no. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just like touches the oh, spindle man. on the wheel. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, it didn't prick oh, me guys. after I again. How I knew many, that was gonna happen. How many goats do you guys want? How many horses Holy do you crap. want? Can we go back to that conversation. <laughs> that was oh, awesome. Um. Or- uh. <laughs> Actually, this might be incredibly fitting. Uh, you find two things in there. You find a shield and a sickle. <gasps> oh, I take Ooh. them. Okay, I the sickle the seems to be this almost silvery looking weapon. Um, kind of small. It seems like too small to really do like any severe significant weapon damage with. Um, but okay. its whole blade is in the shape of a crescent moon. Ooh. And the shield uh, seems to be this similar almost silvered shield but with almost a scale like texture and around the edge of it um the image of a serpent or perhaps dragon however you want to look at it as um consuming its own tail shiny is that this that's a symbol of um the yeah the yuan worship yes it seems to be resembling stuff that they would a lot of stuff in here was resembling that right yes you can see like across one of the grounds there's a really kind of messed up tapestry that may have been used as you know a wiping cloth for the nefeshni but it has this you know grand design of a starry knight and a silver dragon flying across it consuming the tail of a golden dragon so you said there was um artifacts and moon relics are those are those of importance, but like look less significant to the ones that were in the chest that we just grabbed? Um, like, well, the they, ones in the chest look... are in much better condition, um, but it seems okay. if you continue to root through this room, you might be able to find more. A lot of it's broken. A lot of it does seem to just be of, you know, cultural or mythological value, mm. but there may be of other possible things to find. So if anyone does want to go looking through, investigation checks. Yay. Yeah. I'm also going to ask. I would um, appreciate if someone could, um, you know, maybe stabilize me because I am currently dying. Yeah, that is true. You are currently. Yes, you all did see as um, Ignatius (laughs) started coughing until he collapsed to the ground. Can you do anything, Rex? Uh... Um, yeah, Anemone no, will just go ahead and cast uh, Aura of Vitality also, just to help all of us. Ooh, okay. Go. Good spell. Very good. So, you can use a bonus so that... action to cause. So, effectively, how this spell works is for the next um, minute, so 10 turns, you can cause a creature to gain 2d6 hit points. Yeah. So. I guess to make it easier, if you want to just roll 20d6 and throw the hit points around to everyone who you want them to well, have. it's, it's, yeah. there's five of us, mm-hmm. so. So 4d6 on everyone, it looks like you all need some health. Yeah. Be two. Of course, it's 2d6 per round and 10 rounds 10 of it rounds. with the Yeah, yeah, 4d6. So but you can obviously D6. give more to someone else. Like if you give yeah. Ignatius to someone, you can divvy the d6 however you want. Jesus. A lot of, wow, there's a lot of ones. There is, yeah. but there's, <laughs> there's some fives and sixes in there, too. Yeah. Mostly twos and threes, yeah. which isn't bad either. No fours, though. <laughs> no four. Yeah, they're not yeah. a single four. All right, so. Um. Tell everyone how many hit points you want to give them, roughly, and that's close enough to what would be happening with that spell. I'll just, like, divide it by four just to get us all. All right, each of you 15. gain 15 hit points. I'll give you the yeah. freebie. Tanks. And yes, the uh, the black smoke or poisonous gas, whatever it seems to be, is now cleared up at this point. 
You see Anemone okay. holding on to these bright and shiny pieces of gear. Rex, do these look rec do these do you recognize these? Are these like part of your stuff? Give me a religion, religion check, Rex. No oh, god. Uh let's see. Do I uh, maybe <laughs> maybe I know. You don't specifically, you know, they don't seem to be imagery of Celestia necessarily. Yeah, it's just of another god. But seem to be of moon and you know night serpent variety. Yeah. Did you ever tell Wick about that conversation you had with the silver dragonborn? Cause didn't he bring up like the 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 silver dragon god and this the golden dragon? Yeah, the god sun and the moon one. I think yeah. so. I think I'm. I remember you having that conversation. Briefly. But yeah, I don't know if Wick would know. I don't think I don't think I told you about that. Okay. Like that. I think that was a me and Star conversation only. Yeah, I just <laughs> I didn't. didn't get, yeah, I, I don't think I spoke about that at all. Um. But, but yeah, I mean it's similar, but it's not the same. It's an interesting graphic though. Silver dragon eating the golden dragon. Makes sense. Uh oh yeah, and I want to do an investigation because I wanted to see what was sure. around. Oh yeah. Ooh, a crit. Ooh. Can't wait to find nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's um, an urn. So, that. Rex, you push further into the cave a little bit perhaps using your sword as a light to look around. There's also some dancing lights jumping around here, if I remember correctly now. Yeah, so I, think, I think Ash helped You up. keep walking forward, but you reach a point where it doesn't seem that your sword grants any more light. Almost as if a wall of darkness is in front of you. Hmm. If only I had spell slots. <laughs> I could check. <laughs> and um, Wick, you find what seems to be a uh, staff, a golden staff ooh. with a, a cobra looking head on it and little gems oh, for crap. eyes. Golden staff with cobra and what What eyes? Ruby eyes? Um, at the moment, they seem to be clear diamond eyes perhaps oh. but it may be some other gem mm -hmm. can I walk into the darkness oh, yeah of course God. sure let's go he's like yeah I wanna... the darkness. could I use my sacred flame as a light just to hold in front of my face so I just have a golden light yeah so you walk into the darkness produce a secret flame in front of your face but the you can't see the flame it wow. is magically it is pitch dark. black You cannot see a thing. You are very much blinded at the moment. And as you walk through, you keep, you step on a piece of broken pottery. You kick what seems to be a bone at one point. Like there's stuff back here, but you we can't notice see a thing. Rex going back there and disappearing behind a veil of black. I'd say yes. You probably do. Okay, then Ignatius would get himself up off the ground and yeah, because he brought the light there. with him into it, so you can obviously see as he disappears into darkness. Yeah. Rex, are you okay in there? I think so. I just can't see anything. Okay. Just, even with magic, I can't see a thing in here. Well, that uh, shouldn't be a problem for me. Give me one second. <clears throat> and I walk back there and I see... Can I, with my blind style, would I see through magical blindness? You don't necessarily see, but you can absolutely uh, use your ability to feel around. Could you um make me a perception check? Most well, certainly. Which is not going to be terribly great, but we'll see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel that there is some, some more pieces of uh, pottery around, some tablets or, you know, stones of some different kind, and some lanterns just sitting in the darkness. Hmm. Interesting. And to have the shape like of a skull. skull. I feel something here, but uh, these all seem normal things, but why would it be so dark back here if it's not to protect something? Can Dispel Magic be upcasted? 
Maybe. Yes. Drop it in chat. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, say yeah. yeah. Oh, why not? I still, I still have deck magic up, by the way, from last time. Yeah, because I, I, I wanted anything. this. I because I don't have down. any threes left, but I still have my fours. Oh right, true. No right, I got knocked yeah, out. Yeah, you yes. did lose your concentration. Thank you. I just wanted to see. I don't know if it. When you cast a spell, you oh, there we go. Using a spell of fourth level or higher, you automatically end the effect of a spell on the target. Okay. I wasn't okay. sure if I actually could. Yeah, I think anything under fourth, you have to roll for it. Anything above fourth, it just happens. Or like, it me if it meets the spell level, like dispel gotcha. or whatever. So as you cast it, you can see for a brief moment what seems to be everything I described to Ignatius. You see what it seems to be like a glass or crystal skull on the ground. You see broken bits, a lantern on the ground, another um, chest, but this one seems to be open somewhere. And then immediately the area goes dark once again. Hmm. You get almost a second of vision until it disappears again. It's a really strange place. <laughs> Did you see anything of note? Some corpses, pottery, a chest that's been opened, so it's probably empty. It was a crystal skull, I think. Okay, uh, let me. I've got something in my hand right now. I can see if I can bring it out with me. I'll take the skull that I'm holding, whatever one I would have been feeling, and I'll pull it out of the darkness. Okay. You step out of the darkness, and yeah, it seems to be some sort of crystal line structure of a skull yeah it looks like I got it um just put it on the ground I don't see any reason to hold on to it creepy mm -hmm. it seems to more clearly represent uh, a yuan T skull more than a human skull or a dragonborn skull interesting little thing hmm. but the darkness still seems to be there Well, I think I'm probably going to get out of it if I can. <laughs> if I know how to get back. <laughs> yeah. Where did Rex and Amy go? I don't know, but I found this cool staff. Yeah, and I'm going to snatch that skull. <laughs> At this point, you see that section of the cave light up as they spe step back out of the darkness. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Weird magic thing heard. going on over there. Yeah, I wouldn't go in there. Why not? Go for it, but we can't see a thing in there, and it's magic doesn't work in there very well. I don't want to. I trust y'all to... I don't know. We're not really here to loot, either. We're just... No, we're just here to rest. Yeah. Wrong. Nothing wrong with a little adventuring. <clears throat> no. I looted. Yeah. Do we want to? Uh, so did I. Hang. Yeah. So there's I that. I have the staff. We're not. And I don't have to keep the staff. I have no idea if it's magical or not, but it could just be proof to the people of like, hey, here's your stuff back. We killed it. Yada yada. Hmm. But Sorry. if we yeah. want to rest, I'm down. Be nice to rest. No. I want to sleep. Oh no. Yeah, Chork just seems Why to be looking around. Asleep? Doesn't find anything interesting. Hmm. Oh, it says wisdom. So I was like, oh god. What? Who is messing with this brain? <laughs> perception. It's a perception check. Dying? It's perception, I'll be honest. <laughs> I saw it. Mind controlled. We're all good. About to get a crowbar in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, um, classic New York style. If you guys want to rest, I guess I can stand and watch for a little bit. We don't have to sleep. We can just sit and I you know, sleep. snack. Okay, you can nap, but <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Out like a light. It's not even. It's just literally a switch. She's standing right in front of Iggy and then just goes <laughs> back into his arms. <laughs> oh. I want to roll hit points. So you're all taking a short rest? Hit dice. Yeah. Hit dice are absolutely on the menu <sighs> in that case. 
I'm gonna roll four. Uh, yeah, roll as many as you one, would like to two, use. Three. Nice. Four. I'm gonna do three. One, two. So. Two, three. I think I'm max. Mm -hmm. I can't math. Hold on. Three. I'm gonna stay at three as well. Actually, you know, I'm gonna roll another one. Plus eight, plus nine. 32. 19. Yeah, I'm one point over max. Oh, yes. something that I saw, by the way, Kano, for mm -hmm. my own Maddie's knowledge, can you put heroism in the chat again? Because I saw something and I wanted to see if it was right. But I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah, something about those temporary yeah, hit it. points. Wait, start yeah. It might just raise your max temporarily. But that especially with and... concentration, though. That, or I think it was temporary hit, hit points at the top of my turn. Well, either way, concentration's gone, but. No, yeah, yeah. I was just like wondering if that was the spell or if I like yeah, heard it. Yeah, it is temporary hit points at the uh, start of each of its turns. That's very good. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah, another reason that so... heroism should be used more. Because if I got hit every turn, so like that would be good to like cast on like Chorik or something. Because if he gets mm -hmm. hit every turn, yeah, you're just pumping frontline. temporary hit points into him. Yeah. <laughs> or the bear. Or the bear, yeah. That's true. Bear took a lot of hits. Yeah. I just pump it into the bear. All right. Thank what you. is everyone else doing during this short rest? Anemone's taking Nothing. that nap. Mm. Well, I would have traded with Anemone, but she sleep, so I'm gonna have to wait till she wakes up. <laughs> I want to see what I can make. If anyone wants to uh, try to identify items they have during the short yes. rest, they can try. Definitely like to try. I don't have identify, so I mean, I could just try and attune you can to do it. Attunement, if you'd like, you can do an Arcana check if you'd like, however you'd like to try. Can I do an Arcana check to see if it's magical? Sure. Go ahead and make that Arcana check. With a 25, you're looking at the staff, correct? Yes. You get the sense that this is a mundane item. Okay. No magic seems to be coming from it. And I just want to look more at this skull. Would that be like a medical check? Or would that be... If you're looking Some for different... um, magical qualities to it, then yeah. it would be Arcana. Okay. But if you want to just like know I the time of death for this skull, then that would be more medical. I'd rather know what this thing is. I mean, it's crystal. I've never seen something like that before. Yeah. 14. Yeah, you get the sense that it's, you know, special, whatever it is. It doesn't seem to be just there because someone happened to have a crystal um, embedded in their head. Um, but mm. it doesn't seem to be directly magical either <laughs> Interesting. all right mm -hmm. ignatius anything you're doing um admittedly at this point he's just he's kind of resting he got knocked out twice so he's he's sort of physically just kind of reeling a bit and wants to just kind of rest so he's not necessarily like sleeping per se but he's definitely just kind of laying his head back and allowing his brain to recollect itself and processing through the frightening nightmares he saw earlier with the illusions and things like that. All right. Chork uh, occasionally picks up different pieces of pottery and throws them against the wall. Just seems to be You're keeping not... himself entertained. You're not going to rest, Chork? Resting well enough. Do you want me to help you with any wounds or anything? I didn't take as much as the rest of you in that fight. Mm. Okay. What I did was pretty quickly healed up. Do you want to talk about it now? <laughs> he walks off towards the edge of the darkness. He starts <laughs> waving his hand in it. 
like feeling or calling me? Um, seems to just be feeling in a darkness. Seems to kind of be ignoring you after that comment. <laughs> okay. What? I get up. I kind of push an enemy to the side a little bit as I'm sure she's leaning on me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> I grab him. <laughs> and I, hold I was him wondering if that would come through. <laughs> I am. Um... I hold onto his leg. Ash wants me to check on Chork. She says she's feeling depressed. But ugh, cuddles. I know. We can cuddle when I get back. We're just gonna go talk with them before we bust, okay? You promise? I I come over and I lay on an enemy. She cuddles. instantly falls asleep again. <laughs> <laughs> she's still holding my leg. Yeah, she's <laughs> like this. I just got gently. <laughs> I will assist. <laughs> <laughs> She just like cuddles up and like nom 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 nom. Falls back asleep. <sighs> um, hey, uh, Jorik. Ignatius. You, uh, did some pretty good fighting back there against the Malfish. <gasps> Wasn't quite as good as everyone else, but appreciate it. I mean, you, uh, Hold your own. For the most part, you uh, seem to be going through something similar to what I saw back there. The, uh, you know, making you see things. You seemed a bit frazzled at one point, but you seemed like you got yourself together. So I just wanted to uh, congratulate you for fighting through. To be honest, it's something I have to fight through often enough anyway. Oh. Well, then, I suppose your experience was of help to you. Not entirely. What makes you say that? Fine. Um, you remember when we met all of them, right? Um, the rest of our party. Yes. I remember it well. By meeting all of them, it led to my son dying. And that thing just reminded me of that. That is understandable. And I know it's not their fault. But it's hard to forget. Yeah, it's, um, it's not easy when you have to experience sacrifice in a way that wasn't truly deserved for either you or your son. His death does not necessarily warrant your freedom. What did the monster show you? Um, well, he, uh, showed all of you, being ripped to shreds and, uh, an enemy especially. It was a very horrific sight. Not Hopefully that never people. comes to pass. I hope so too. I was shown them all ripping my son to shreds. And then loading up his body in a wagon. And part of that was true to an extent. So I hope for your sake you never see anything close to what you saw today. 
And I hope for your sake that the fear you feel about the past doesn't have to constantly live in your mind. As you said, you go through it. You just see his knuckles just going white as he's gripping his fists. Yeah. We all have a time where we must mourn. But I don't think in a manner as viscerally as this. If you ever want to talk about your son, I am always happy to listen. Thank you, Ignatius. And he goes and just throws the other piece of pottery that was in his hands into the cloud of shadow. Can you make a perception check? Sure, I'm real great at those. We'll see what I yeah. don't see this time. Oh, not too shabby. Hey. Nice you see, as he old. does that, as you um hear the piece hit the ground, it hits something metal, and the wall of shadow seems to shake for a moment and, like, almost move. Well, that was weird. Sure. When you threw that piece of pottery, it made the whatever things happening here shifted. Hmm. He picks up another piece, throws it in. You hear it clatter, but the same thing doesn't happen again. Hmm. Must have hit something inside that thing. Do you remember what way you were throwing your piece of pottery? He just, like, kind of points towards roughly the middle of where it seems to be. Hmm. It's not that big of a deal, is it? Because it's just gonna... It's just an empty space in the wall. But if I can figure out what... If we can figure out what this is, maybe we could use it to block... Uh, I don't know. Do you want to go inside and see if we can figure out what this is, Chork? Or do we, should we just leave sure, it? Sure, might as well. <sighs> you jumped into that quite eagerly. Um... Let's, let's go in, I guess, then. Um, it's mm -hmm. dark in there. We won't be able to much make sense of anything, so just be aware. Hey, Wake, if you're paying attention to them talking in the corner, you see as they step into the shadow again. Wonder what they're doing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 Seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see what happens in magical darkness. <laughs> Except for those who can see through magical darkness. But, uh, it's true. They see everything. Keep an eye. Um, I'm kind of tethered <laughs> to an anemone right now. Mm -hmm. so, unless I want to wake her up as well. Which... I'd rather her sleep and get a full short rest, unless we've already gotten a full short rest. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'll say the short rest is coming to an end roughly now. Okay. Um, yeah, Ignatius, same. There's items around. Some bones around. Cool. I'm gonna... I guess Harpar's Ignatius is not very wise, nor he's mediocrely smart. So I'm like, he's not going to have the delicacy to be able to be like, I know exactly where my brain was going with this. So he's just going to feel against the wall yeah. until he eventually kind of like makes his way. He's, he's, he's going to remember, okay, I walked in on, you know, the left side. So I'm progressing toward the right or whatever to try and get to the middle. And so he's going to like think that way. He's going to be kind of just going along as he can until he eventually maybe feels something with his foot or his hand or anything. It's not going to be pretty, but no one can see it, so no one will know. Okay, you, you feel Chork kind of doing something similar, but like feeling across the floor as he's moving around. And eventually you step on a piece of pottery and bump into one of the lanterns in that direction. Oh. Okay. There's something here, I think. Maybe. I get on my feet and I find the piece of metal that I recall 
hearing, which I imagine is that lantern. Yep, you pick it up. It seems to feel like a normal lantern. Cool. Um, but it doesn't seem to have any like glass around it. It's just. Um, should I? I don't want to do that one because it's only been I'm like. Eh. Oh wait, hold on, hold on a second. That that is a thing. No, that won't make a difference either. I'm like, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do here. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of magical abilities to work with. Um, I guess I'll just pick it up. Sure. And uh, I will uh, say, Chork, stay here. Um, if this is connected to whatever the darkness is, eventually, if I move away from you, you should be out of the darkness. I would think. Go oh. ahead. All right. Then I'm just going to start. I'm going to take this piece of metal, and I'm just going to kind of crawl along the floor with it. Okay. And Wick, maybe Rex from the outside, you see that wall of shadow begin to move closer to you. What are you guys doing? Ignatius, oh, nothing seems to change. Hell? Is it still is dark? That, is it doing something out there? It's moving. Oh. It's moving closer to us. Stop it. Okay, no, no. This, How this, did you this, activate? This is good. Nothing. Okay, hold on. I stopped I moving. I can see again. I stopped moving. <laughs> <laughs> what enlightenment did you give him in the darkness? No. Ooh. No. Okay, okay, okay. No. So. Anemone. <laughs> it seems like there's something in here that's causing this magical darkness to happen. I'm going to take it outside of the cave. So just be aware. Either you can leave the cave and I can walk out, or I'm just going to pass over you with this darkness temporarily. Is that okay? Just eat it. Just throw it out the cave. Because then the the cave entrance will be dark, and then they, people won't come in. Well, right. That's But I need to get to the front of the cave first. Okay, I'd rather okay. not break it, because if it's actually doing something oh, right now. Okay. So just hold if on. If I I'm die, gonna, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to crawl through. Well, actually, I, I don't even want crawling through at this point. I should, well, actually, no, I should, because I'm going to be walking, and I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, it's so still I'm gonna... completely dark <laughs> yeah, around I'm you. crawling. I'm going to just crawl forward. Um, Ash, tell me if I need to go left or right. I don't know where I'm heading. You don't know, see here. him at whatsoever. Yeah. You just see a wall of shadow. I don't Yeah, I was going to say, you're coming you. closer to us. So it's where is it black. moving relative to the entrance? Closer? Great. Okay. Oh, oh, well, that makes it easy. I'm just going to keep going straight, then. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the wall creeps right up to you and swallows you. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna Ugh. keep moving forward. Just tell me when I reach the entrance. I can't see, Ignatius, so I have no idea. Just keep walking. <laughs> I keep crawling until I eventually feel the edge of, just like, whatever cliff over. this cave is, like, mm -hmm. little ledge this cave is at. Was... Yep, you, you two can see again as the, the bubble passes over you. And Ignatius, you are now further in or out. Okay. You're by the entrance. Okay. Um. You can leave whatever you're doing. So now I can leave it here. Only issue is if something were to be outside, we can't see it. So I might put it on the side of the entrance. Would that be better or should I put it at the front? A giant black orb is going to draw attention if you just put it outside. So... Okay. I would stay the entrance. That's fine. We'll deal just with everything. Hopefully a whole here. horde of you want. He doesn't just show up at the front and just waits for us when we come out. Okay, just put this here. We're and not do we're just looking. Alright, I'm crawling backwards slowly, but surely. Can I look see... back to where Shork was, like where the the darkness was? Do I see into like where they where, where yeah, they went? Yeah, There just seems to be a cave going on a little bit further. Okay, I try and get up, but I'm only like half a foot taller than an ebony. I don't know how strong she is. And if she's gonna let me go. Pretty strong. But I'll try to get up. All right. I move back booty first and I imagine yeah. emerge from the darkness. You emerge from the darkness. And I roll strength uh, to see if I hold absolutely. on to it. <laughs> Would I do athletics or acrobatics? Either one of them will be fine to uh, resist it. So I just you try roll, to squirm like, out or power strength? through it. I'm gonna do acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, it'll be your strength. You managed to slip free before, you know, she thinks you're aware of her plans. Uh, it's only because she was asleep. All right. I've her done the duty. Her claws um, haven't... 
I'm no more than me now. You guys can go check out that corner of the cave. Oh, what? Want. Okay. I go. I promise to go back, so I'm going to do it. <clears throat> and yeah. I nestle in at least a little oh, bit. Oh boy. I'm gonna go back there as well to see if there's anything else that I missed when I previously when was in there. If you go back there, seems a lot more of the same trash. You see another chest open. Seems something was taken out of it at some point. Um, it's just completely empty at this point. Did he and... leave the crystal skull before? They just left it. No, there? I have it with me. Mm -hmm. oh. Who took it out? It's mine. It's mine. It's my skull now. You see Chorg <laughs> picking up what seems to be a, a big, <gasps> ugly, heavy sword. Uh, ooh. It's like rusted at certain parts, but <laughs> it'll snap. No, I could like shine it and like de-rust it. Like, you can get, give me like a couple hours with it. I'll make it nice and shiny again. Like, if you give me ten minutes with the Nemini, we could possibly get Chorik a new weapon. All right, don't take it that way. Don't look at me like what that. What does that mean? <laughs> give me ten minutes. What does that mean? Give me ten minutes. Ten minutes. With minutes Nemini, and I'll have a new seven. weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rex. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, that way about it's, you. Uh, you turned into me in a drunken slumber. I'm not into no, no, dragons no, like no. that, so. I don't know, you're into every other animal. I just figured great. dragons were on the table. Where's Wick's weapon? weapon? What the hell? The DM is still confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is there anything in the room? I'm, I'm assuming I see the missing lantern now. Uh, You don't see I don't know. <laughs> I don't see any lanterns. Nope. It's just like, was there a pedestal that it was on? Like, what? Do... Doesn't seem to be. Okay. Any upright pedestal missing something? Ooh, okay. Flower. Can I look at the chest to see if it's there's like a hidden compartment? Sure. Uh... Make an investigation check for that. Okay. <laughs> so this you find is so overrated. <laughs> There's literally even... nothing in here. It's full of gold. There's nothing at... in here. I didn't want to look at it anyway. <laughs> Does he trip over it and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> this is a back wall. Yeah. Fucking hell. Pardon me. There seems to be some similar poison residue on it, and you take four points of poison damage. Mm. Oofies. You touched but it seems line. the hidden compartment was only to hide whatever was trapping it at one the time. The cheese touch. It seems the trap has been triggered, you said? Yes. I don't really understand the point of the room, other than maybe that sword. It also yeah, could be, I mean, right. out of context, it sounds like Ignatius took the one magical thing out of that space, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's just a room. <laughs> just a more cave. Does it lead anywhere, or is it, like, closed off? Um, it seems to lead further down, but the cave does seem to be getting smaller and tapering. We are not cave delving <laughs> today. No. I'm, I'm good. I'm good I am well. not getting bottle nosed in the cave system. But Milo could be back there, guys. He's he definitely could be not. crying out for I us. I don't care. <laughs> it's true. He is a little kitty. <laughs> Tiny meows from the distance. <laughs> and then Nemi starts sleepwalking and sleepwalk into the cave. Ignatius, no. Ignatius no. grabs you and says, <laughs> Darn. No, you said we were snuggling. <laughs> snuggling. <laughs> Fail. Snuggling. You said we were snuggling. snuggling. I'm going to start referencing that quote now. Every night, Alexander. <laughs> you said we were snuggling. That was a D&D &D <laughs> character. It wasn't me. <laughs> you said we were snuggling. Snuggling. Can't wait to snuggling you later. Uh, I don't snuggling. see anything in here. I can help you mend your sword, but it will take a minute. Sure. I'm gonna go bother an enemy. Worked well this I'm last time. I'm napping and snuggling, so you better freaking not. Is it a great sword? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a great sword. It seems to be a one-edged great sword. <gasps> so <laughs> that. I can do a like war cleaver. It's butter knife kind. on the one side, and then it's just like sharp on the other. If he basically. actually handed it to me, I will end up dropping it. I have it is zero strength. Fair. It is a heavy, 
chunk of metal. <laughs> it just goes dunk like the. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold this story. You hold it by the back of the blade. No, I, 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 oh, it's gonna cut my hand. No, no it's, it's not sharp on that side. I pick it up. I trust. Strength it. check. Oh God. Check or saving throw? <laughs> check. We'll give you a check on this one. Yeah, you can lift it. The back does seem to just be more for counterweight okay. than for cutting edge. I'll like wide stance carry it. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down, I guess. I can't. I have to. I have to spend at least two hours on it because I have to spend an hour making the right tool for the job. <laughs> It's <laughs> an hour it makes it de-rusting it. So. Are we still staying here? Because I can't fix it right now, guys. I'm still snuggling it into me, so. Snuggling. I'm just, like, awkwardly sitting next to you guys, like, waiting for you to be done so I can talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Rex, why do you not want to get you're pushing or anything, just sitting there, like, she'll yeah, wake up eventually. I'm just sitting there. Like, she'll get up eventually. Anemone, do you want to see my weapon? <laughs> no Rex for the last time I don't want to see your weapon <laughs> oh my gosh uh, well I, if... I, I'll jokingly say if, I think because I, I, I wasn't necessarily planning for like a long long rest but I also don't think we're in any rush to leave because it's still like it's dark um, outside right now Anemone oh, just it? doesn't wake up when she yeah, falls back. Yeah, because it's a lantern that we can't see. <laughs> Man. I thought Ash Don't was... you know I have gullible Walked written you on my right into that one. <laughs> yeah. It's so dark. I'm just going to walk through a wall. Everyone's it's so dark, I can't now. hear. God, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm down for taking two more short rests, guys. <sighs> two more All right, if, rest? if we're resting for longer, I'm talking to Anemone. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not waiting too long. I'll, ah! I'll get started. I'll get started on making a whetstone. Ah. So that I can fix this. I'm gonna I want to make a trade off. Magical? One more Wait, I don't want to trade with you. Why not? Before I what you... try to start fixing this, is it magical? Because if it's magical, I'm not going to be able to fix it with a whetstone. Isn't it I a don't know. Roll me a uh, check. Ah. You can't tell. Yeah. It's a really nice uh, sword, so it could be magical, but it's not like glowing at the moment, so it's no guarantee. Oh. Then I'll, I'll just start making a whetstone. All right. I would like to offer a trade. Uh, what do you have? I pull out the crystal skull. Oh, <gasps> shiny. Yes, and it's a skull, and it can go on your necklace, possibly. It I'll is the size it. of your head, perhaps. Yeah, that's fine. She can take it. <laughs> I want that know? shield. Do you really want a creepy skull in the me? Crystal, it's mm. shiny. I think they should don't put your two cents. It's two a cents shiny. She's snuggling with me. I can put my two cents They're in wherever bargaining. I want. I mean, can I look at the shiny skull? Sure. Can I like? Trying to see if it has any purpose or rhyme or reason of existing. Sure. Or is it like just if you want to make oh. an arcana or history check against it, you tap it with a little hammer and say, oh, "Any kind of check you want, want uh, whatever you're trying to figure out." I want to roll perception. How did it okay, you can roll that perception. She just puts it down you're and stares at that. it. Yeah. It's a skull. I have it looks to history in our go It looks definitely oh. to be a skull and crystal. <gasps> Ooh. Final Can that count? History Can that count? Can that count, please? <laughs> and then we had a fixation on crystal skulls when she was like 13, <laughs> and she's just like. She's enamored by this thing. But she wants to make sure it's useful or something. Mm hmm. Um, yes, the skull itself doesn't seem to, you know, have any individual thing, but you have, you know, very much how you've seen creatures recently that can turn someone to stone. You've heard of spells or creatures, magic effects that can turn things to crystal, including skulls. 
which could mean something very dangerous or something very interesting. Do I think it's worth anything? Is it, like, worth money? You could imagine it's worth its weight in gems. Ooh, Good mind. chunk of money. You can't... doesn't seem to be, like, obvious diamond or anything, but... Okay. I now want to look at my shield that I found and do the same thing. Okay. Can she even... Like, is this a big shield? <laughs> is it, like, heavy? Is she, like, struggling It's fairly to heavy. It? It's not like a, you know, full size shield, but it's like maybe a two foot uh, diameter round entirely. Can I use it or is it like? Um, you can hold it. It seems to be of manageable weight. Are you proficient with shields? I don't know. It will say under your proficiency. You just scroll down. I'm pretty sure druids page. are generally, so. I think they are. Yes, armor, shields. And she doesn't and you... have any armor. Then you cause... can wield it. I think she just has light armor currently. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever check you think would be appropriate against that Arcana or history. We'll do Arcana for this one. Hey. hey. You can tell this shield does seem to have some magical qualities to it. Ooh. It has that little magic tingle to it. Oh, it can't be metal. That's mm. interesting for druids. The shield can't. Yeah. Be metal? Normally, druids can't have metal. Oh. Um. Oh, that's yeah, I why is that's that? Why I can't, that's ca why I can't have armor is because well, you can have just uh, light thing? armors, but well, I have light armor, but yeah, yeah the, the 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 highest level of armor I think you can wear is studded leather. Uh, so high, this shield isn't higher, metal, but... or is oh. it? The shield does seem to be made of metal. But I could wield it, or no? Um, well, let's mm, let's Google this real quick. Not being able I never to heard use of that, metal though. shields, even. Ooh, unusual restriction. I don't care for that restriction. It's a stupid shield. You can use it if you want. <laughs> okay, so You're it's a magic right. <laughs> shield. She can't have heavy armor. Yep. Mm. It will add, if, because you're proficient, it will add to your AC bonus. Or your AC, sorry. Sorry, Rex. I think I want to hold on to the shield. As much as I like that shiny skull. I don't have very good armor, and I think it could help me. Alright. Shields are a good choice. I use one all Arguably, the time. it won't carry over into your beast form. No, it won't, but it, it gives her something when Yeah, she... it'll give you something to protect yourself when you're yeah, when she's means not you and in I her... can match. We can both have shields together. <gasps> the shielded couple. I love it. <laughs> Can I know how much the shield adds? Like, can I, I know the stats two. and stuff? Um, right. Yeah, you would know that generally shields would add plus two, but then you don't know the yeah. specific what magic this does get, grant you yet. Yes. You got to attune to it. Yeah. So you can just take the how next hour to, you know, wear it and, like, show it off and be proud of it. Okay. And, you know. She'll do that then. Then you'll attune to it. And she's then you also walk have walk around the, like uh, she's a knight. You also what, have the she also had well. a sickle. Yeah, can I look at that and like figure out what's going sure. on with Arcana it? Sure. Arcana check again. Darn it. It's hard to tell. It's like of the same silvery material, but mm -hmm. doesn't have that same magic spice to it. But it's pretty and I like it. So. Yeah. You wave it around similarly. Yeah, I walk around with my sickle and my shield going, I am a knight. I am protect a princess. And that's how I'm attuning, so. All right. Is anyone playing I'm the princess? To make <laughs> Iggy is absolutely playing the princess. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting there being like, we were supposed to snuggle. I'm. What about Jork? What's his part-time job? True. Jork's not much of a uh, cuddler. I'm pretending that Rex is the no, mighty they're, dragon they're that's playing. trying to eat the princess. <laughs> oh. I'm making playing, him yeah. jealous with my cool shield. I'll jokingly play along and I'll puff some smoke through my nose. Hey. Ah, the <laughs> from the dragon. dragon. That's funny. That's really good. <laughs> Arc dragon, you will not have the princess. Don't worry, princess. I will save you. Very nice show. As I'm like, yeah, as you're like making stuff on my tools, and we're goofing around. <laughs> I'm like putting I'm things to together. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to imbue magic into the thing. Uh, it's just like, okay. <laughs> yep, smoke comes like right past the back of your head for a second. Just like, everything's fine. 
then yeah, after an hour passes, um, Wick, you're able to work on that in full <laughs> form now. You have all the Yay. tools required. I will start to And that. Anemone. <gasps> I attune. The shield gives you it's resistance so cool. to poison. Wow. That's, that's wow. quite fitting. And it also wow. does a cool attack, but you don't Ooh. know what the attack is yet. Ooh. Ooh. How much does her AC go up by two? By two. Nice. It's two AC plus the resistance. Hey. Nice. So. I need to, like, remember that I have that now. <laughs> yeah. Um. I will give the item to you as soon as you figure the rest of it out. Mm. To have a full I usually put... Of things under okay. the features and traits on the main page that I go back can go back to features right yeah so on your main page on oh. core if you scroll down there's filters and traits you can add stuff to that um so you could just like put like resistant poison oh yeah yeah Shield. the sickle on the other hand do I attune to it so it was magic. It was magic. <laughs> magic you should now have access to it in your journal. If you want to look, you should see Moonsickle. I don't <laughs> see it. Well, let's let's try this button. Then. Here you go. Oh, oh now I see the it. The way you said that was great. You're just like, I don't see it. I don't see it. <gasps> it's pretty. Which is fitting because it's specifically a druid thing. So. Ooh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus bonus to attack damage rolls Ooh. made with it. She needed a good little, like, nice. weapon, so I like that for her. And when you do offensive spells, they're um, enhanced as well. You get a plus bonus to nice. the uh, dam to the um, saving throw DCs and spell attack rolls. Period. Ooh, and when you cast spells that yeah, restore HP, you gain extra HP restored to people who you heal. That's cool. It's the fancy I sickle. like my moon cool. So you're all kitted out now. Yeah, because nice. I had a broken femur as my weapon, <laughs> but now we have the moon sickle. <laughs> That's much cooler. <laughs> Fancy. Very good. I like After it. some time Yay. passes, you get to flail around your new moon sickle and shield. Yeah. Wick, you managed to uh, fully repair this weapon. Sick. Is it magical or no? No, it's not magical. <laughs> but it's cool. I could make it magical. True. Yeah, you could. At a later time. <laughs> Might still be nicer than what he's currently using, which is a crowbar. Yeah. But indeed I it think is. When I level so currently I have I can do three infusions. I have defense on myself. And then what else do I have? Hold on. I don't think I have these freaking active. I could be adding these to things. There you go. Think all your goggles have night vision, right? That's different. It's different? So I can do an infusion, and then I can make spells? Or no? Yeah. You can have your infused item, then you can have the infusions that like enhance items as well, all at the same time. Up to whatever number it tells you. Uh, nice. My magical item into an item description. Oh, maybe no. Yeah, my goggles might actually be one. Yeah, I think those count as one of them. Yeah, so I'd have to drop the sending stones to make it magical. Oh, no, not my headache makers. <laughs> hey, they're handy if we ever split up. They are. We've used them on multitude of occasions. Yeah, we have used them a Rex lot. Rex would have died if we hadn't used them. True. Oh, did you have did attuned Alexander your uh... robots? Did I you... may have. It, it sounds like something I would do. Or I get three magic items and then three infusions. That sounds balanced to me. <laughs> we give artifices cool stuff around here. Sure. <laughs> write it down, write it down. I have a six level artificer. Oh, I could do. 
Wait. As you're figuring that out. Is anyone Sorry. else up to anything? The uh, Chork now has his new weapon, and Emily has her new <laughs> weapon. Uh, Rex, like you have a cool weapon. skull. <laughs> Sorry, Rex. <laughs> Nemony never gets cool stuff. Keeping it. Rex, can you make a perception check? Okay. Yeah, you don't find anything else cool. Sorry, bud. I wanted to, like, jokingly... I mean, I doubt it'll do anything. It's just the skull. But I think it'd be funny. Just mm -hmm. to see if it would move. Because I've never tried the spell. <laughs> Whatever you would like to try, feel free. I want to. I want to do turret undead. I just want to see if it'll move because I've never used it before. Okay. This is a joke. I like it. Yeah, you use the spell turn undead, and like, you know, a flash of light kind of radiates out from you for a moment, but it doesn't seem to affect anything in the room. Rats. Anemone would have been really pretty funny. sad. If, if that turned skull down started the skull, moving. <laughs> and then the skull started talking. Yeah, it would have been real funny. It would have been a little I'm like, shook. hey, what are you doing here? What are you Why are you doing this to me? Yay, yay. Pretty sure that was the voice I used last time I voiced a skull, so. <laughs> I guess this will be lame. I'll I'll pay, I'll just to give admission something to do, I'll say as he's resting, I'll heal us passively. We'll take another glance around the room as he's like counting stones on the ceiling. Just to see if there's anything else that catches his eye. No, he's not. <laughs> he's he's content. Yeah. It's a there's this, there's this one stalagmite above you that just, or stalactite that just really seems like it could fall at any moment. Hmm. Yeah, it's, sounds about it's structurally right. unsound and it's distracting. Exactly. I'm feeling the earth tremors to try and see if I can sense when it's about to fall and get mm -hmm. like a premonition of it. And you just can't tell when, but it's soon. Could be in the next 10 minutes, could be in the next 10 days, but soon. It's like a tooth that's ready to come out. It's like yeah. sitting there. All right. Is anyone up to anything else? It is still uh, magically dark outside. Hmm. Probably just practicing with my sword. Had a bit more time to rest. When do we feel like we want to go talk to those you want to? I feel like it's been dark outside forever. Well, that's because there's a lantern or something out there. I think it's a lantern that is uh, producing this darkness. That would make uh -huh. a lot of sense. I don't get it. Those the Can we like light it up? I mean, we try. Mark, do you remember how I got the spell refueling ring? <laughs> Help a girl out. I think spell refueling ring is one of the artificer things as well. I'm so can... I'm looking at my infusions and I can't, can't find it. I feel like it might be just the artificer ability you get or something. I, I, I was. I got the same thing on my artificer, so I think it's that. Uh. I think while we're figuring this out, Ignatius is gonna go out to the spot where the darkness no, it's is, infusion. and he's gonna try and um. He's going to try and fiddle with the whatever thing he felt that's controlling this darkness. He's going to try and see if there's any knobs or switches or dials on it. Okay. You, you know, got to try to mess with it. And it just feels like, you know, a mundane lantern just without a wick or light source in the center of it. Doesn't seem to be any, any movable piece you try to move on. It spins, but doesn't change anything. Hmm. Rex, I can't figure out a way to turn this thing off. Do you know how to turn off weird things like this? What? what why would I know? You're a cleric. Uh-huh. Do you not deal with light and dark all the time? Just smash it. <laughs> I, like, what sheath a, my sword and I go kinda over cool. and... cool. I guess maybe I can investigate it or kind of check it. Sure. You walk into the darkness, he hands you this uh, lantern, I'm I guess. Like, I'm just like, here, hold the thing. I've got it in my hands. Do you, do you, where's your, where are you? Where are you, Rex? Where are you? You're smacking my scales. Stop. Oh, sorry. My bad. I, I was ready to smack my arms. I figured uh, it out. I have the appropriate amount. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a lantern. Good. 
It's some dark lantern, I have no idea. Well, I'll turn it off, but I don't want to smash it, because then we're not gonna... What if it's cool? What if it could be used for something? What if we put it in a bag? Will it take uh... darkness? I don't know. I have one more item that I can make, and I'm pretty sure a bag of holding <laughs> is one of them. I mean, it's just a lantern. I'll just... Let me see if I can grab whatever little, maybe, knapsack I have, and I can just... Actually, I don't think I technically have... Well, actually, no, I do have a backpack. I'll take the backpack, mm -hmm. and I'll shove it in there and see if that does anything. Take yeah, some stuff out of your backpack, put it in there. No, just, just your, okay. just your <laughs> random <laughs> things falling outside <laughs> in darkness. Shoves whatever this is in there. and Your backpack will become a, a pocket dimension. <laughs> yeah, you put the uh, lantern in your backpack, you know, seal it up, and <laughs> the darkness goes away. Uh, oh. Oh. Huh. Good, good, good thinking, Rex. Hey. That was smart. It's finally daytime. I would keep that in mind if we're ever in a situation where we need it to be dark really fast. Right. The only bad thing is now I can't open this without it being instantly. Yeah. Dark. That's going to suck. Yeah, you go to get a granola bar, suddenly darkness all around you. <laughs> Everyone's like, what happened? <laughs> I can't see. On our deck. <laughs> and then he goes in there to like sneak like something out and just causes chaos. I think she killed the world. <laughs> She's like, the world is ending, because I tried to I remembered steal. what it was. So, I got three infusions. I know six. One of them is the ring. One of them is my enhanced armor. And the other one was replicate magic item. But under the replicate magic item, you've allowed me to have three of those. That's what it is. Yeah. That's... But I awesome. so of your totals okay yeah yeah we're good <laughs> yeah so i have three but the one has like a subcategory of like three items good mm -hmm. deduction yeah Maybe okay you know, so I can come back to it you figured out the mystery of darkness you've identified some cool new toys cool no well now that we've got that all settled, then should we go down to the Yuan-Ti and talk with them? Yeah, and Take then we should probably right try and find this tree. Make sure they don't forget our deal. You're true. We're off to see the tree, the wonderful tree, the tree. Indeed. All right. Nice. You gonna share? You gonna share? What the heck? You gonna share? <gasps> we have donuts too. We do. Good. I think we've had enough treats today. We really have. I kind of almost want popcorn later too, so probably not. I don't think we can do salad and popcorn. That'll make Why it not? It's not how stomachs work. No, it's not gonna go great. I think we can. Popcorn. All right. So where are you all headed Sorry. first? To the snake people. To the stairs. All right. You were not uh, far from the entrance of the stairway. So, you make your way to it. Don't begin... touch the door. Mm -hmm. You begin to walk down it, minding the many traps that you were warned about. And who would like to take point in making sure no one steps on anything stupid? Not me. I can. All right, Wick. Um, fair enough. Give us an investigation check. My investigation's decent. Someone wants to help me. Shark will oh, help. Oh, actually. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually. Hold on. I think I have an exhaustion point still, so it's a disadvantage. Lovely. Oh, well, it's not just it's still too bad. Okay, yeah. You go about and... I'll say, fortunately, you, since you've already been down this path, the 14 is enough to make it through. But man, you get close sometimes. <laughs> you just like almost step on some, probably a couple times when you step on it and then just realize, yep, um, gotta, you know, work carefully around this. Mm -hmm. But you make your way back down the stairs. Nice. I got an exhaustion point from climbing the stairs. So it was in the morning. Yep. All right. You're down there. It doesn't seem to be that there's anyone awaiting you. 
How does one summon them? <laughs> oh. I think I have an idea. Uh oh. I do the same thing. What's with the idea? <laughs> Cover my ears. Hello! Immediately, you see two UNT soldiers come running out from one of the <laughs> caves off to the side. <coughs> see the one whisper to the other one. And then one of them takes off, the other kind of stays there awkwardly. Just do a little also, as a side note, Anemone would make a point to like hide her shield and Moonsicle before coming in here. Okay. Um, because she doesn't want them to take it. Does sound appropriate. She likes them. Mm. Yeah. So you just see that one guard just standing awkwardly there in the center of the room, not saying anything to you. We killed just the thingy. Awkwardly wave. <laughs> he raises a, the head? an arm to wave back and it it's just a snake he just waves a snake at you <laughs> just wave tails and then after a uh, another moment you see the original um, one that you spoke with uh, step out hello again and they slowly walk forward. You see them once again with their just dark blue hair and pale skin stepping forward. Just taking their time. Hi. So you have survived. Yeah. Who has the you head? You. I think you or Iggy. I think Anemone is a little small to have been carrying that head. You're the one to lose. Torek plops down the head in front of him. Now. <laughs> you Nico. almost left it behind. Thanks for remembering, Torek. Hmm. That is impressive. Thanks. How did you easy. fell such a creature? Determination. We shot it a bunch. Well. It wasn't easy to take down, that's for sure. I just said it was easy. It wasn't. Okay, it wasn't easy. It was teleporting all over the place, and it was going... <laughs> but eventually, after a long fight, we ended up getting it. Many of our warriors have gone and failed. Well done. Yeah. Have you seen the fate of any of such warriors? I pull out the skull. <laughs> I think I found one. I give the staff. Hmm. I see that you have found much. Just glances to Chork, sword, the staff, the skull. Were there other relics to be found? Hmm. There was a the cave that we went into. It had a lot of dead things in there. Yeah. Open chests and stuff. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. didn't find much at all. There was Ignatius. a really interesting rock. Give me your first deception check ever. <laughs> Can I, I'm giving him Flash of Genius because I was technically telling the truth with the open chests. Mm-hmm. That's why Anemone just stayed quiet. <laughs> Add a five to your roll. Please don't fail. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, right. I will say, even if he's in context, Ignatius is sort of being selective about his truth yes. sharing here. He he very much is saying, I didn't find much of anything because Which he is genuinely still... did not. But if you know, it's still deception. Mm -hmm. yes, still still speaking for the party and... Correct. Mm -hmm. Ooh, with the uh, flash of genius bonus, it seems that you're getting away with this. Mm. But if you want to look more, I would recommend going. The cave is pretty easily accessible from the stairway. Maybe you'll find something we didn't. There were also more cave openings that we didn't explore, so 
There could be, honestly, a whole lot more. Perhaps you've done us a great service. It'll definitely make traveling out there easier for anyone needing to. Well, I will let everyone know here you are free to pass by. Appreciate it. You um, can even take the main halls. We're hmm. not ready to do so just yet. We have a tree to talk to still, but we'll make our way back down soon, hopefully. Is there any other ways we could be of service to you? Hmm. What do you think, guys? Hmm. I'm curious. Um, without getting too strange about it, we managed to talk quite a bit with, um, you know, the, the dear Chancellor of Sequoia, and, um... Yes, Chancellor Zensu, you said so much. Yes, um, I, was, I, I am curious, in terms of, um, his past, obviously, is, is a, a great deal to him, uh, if we were to try and convince him to do something we wanted, what would be the best way of doing so in a non-aggressive fashion? There... Let me put it this way. If you find out, I would like to be the first to know. Many of our people here are in debt to him in ways they cannot repay. However, he is different. Very different. How so? Well, you've seen him parading around in the city with his... Rainbow guard, his wings, his parties and tournaments. Many of us do not prefer to live that way. It is not natural. So, that is why many of us remain here in the mountains. We do not know why he does things that he does. We simply must live with it. Understandable. Do you well, need something from him? Or to convince him of something? Well, as ambassadors of Titan's Watch, um, working with the Chancellor is very important to us so we can take care of the trees. And so just wanting to make sure we can continue to have good cooperative relations with him in the future. And to my knowledge, he is very accepting of your order, whatever it may be. Yeah. Have a... Has Titan's Watch ever used these tunnels before for any other purposes? Not to my knowledge, so no. At least none have claimed themselves as Titan Watch before they met their untimely fate. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, anyone else have anything they want to ask? I think we should be on our way, actually. Actually, but, um, I do have a question. Is there a way that I could learn more about your guys' religion? I'm curious about it. Hmm. We could talk many long hours about it. I could share some of our tablets with you. I'll take a tablet if that's fine. iPad kid. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we don't want to sit here for hours so I can learn we're stuff. Just, we were just she gives you a tablet that has all the best games yeah. on it, all the, has little oh, pictures of snakes and birds. moons. Hell yeah. It's great. Arguably, and, and, and angry though, dragons on it, my favorite game. <laughs> arguably though, like I'm personally like with hit dice, like I'm I'm good, but like I'm spent on spells, so like we could continue forward. I don't know how much of a trek we have until we meet Bonsai if we want to rest the here or the there. Sorry, it's still like it's still daytime, so I feel like we obviously if we would taken a longer rest it would have been better to take it earlier than yeah we'd have yeah. to look at we'd have now. to adventure during the night probably i don't think we're gonna face anything i'm not gonna lie i don't want to climb those stairs and take another exhaustion <laughs> that would suck there's probably a different way we could we could we could always ask them for a different way to go up if we don't want to get tired again because they did say we could use the main halls now yeah might be an easier way to get to bonsai we're still climbing up a mountain so I don't know that's if exhaustion's yeah, gonna I'm be just a gonna part of it anyway. Say it straight, stairs are probably the easiest yeah. way to climb a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just worried with the two points of exhaustion my speed is have, so I'll be lagging behind and that's not good for trekking. But we can figure it out. Fine with long resting if that's what we need to do. So do you seek to stay? Or no? Doesn't matter to me. If we're staying, I'm also wanting to learn about their stuff with Rex. You know, I, I guess we can stay, but if we do stay, all I would ask is if there's anything we can do for you, I would be more than happy to offer my services and assistance, because I don't like to be idle. I already did my part helping kill the monster, so I'll be sleeping. <laughs> As if she hasn't slept for part. two hours and played Princess and the Dragon <laughs> another hour. <laughs> I've done my part. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> back, fellow beast, back. <laughs> uh, if you wish back. to be of aid, perhaps you can come with the others to our sanctum and learn. don't exactly know how that's to be helpful to you, but I mean... Knowledge of our ways could be helpful in your future. Knowledge. Knowledge I don't have anything heavy for you to lift, if that is what you're asking. <laughs> that is unfortunate, but oh, okay, fine. I, I'm happy to listen. <laughs> I also could share with you about Titan's Watch. I think it, that would be an interesting trade. Of yeah, it'd be real exciting for everyone to learn about. I have a lot of stories. Yeah, and a manual. I have a manual Already that I can with me at all asleep. times. And Ignatius goes <laughs> to his backpack and he uh, oh. <laughs> opens it to try and get his manual out. The darkness! <laughs> darkness envelops everyone for a moment. Ah. Let me just go through here. Oh, so actually, sorry, hold on. Close that back up again. <laughs> I forgot. Ah! What, what did you find? Happened? Hmm. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Is Ziggy learning how to gaslight? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> First deception, now gaslighting Ziggy? God. Oh my god. Slippery slope out here. Why? I mean, I personally think that once he starts, it's not like he's necessarily gonna... I don't know, he's not very good at it. He never claimed to be. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking oh. about? <laughs> I paused as an advance of character for what's about to happen, but this is where I <laughs> felt things would logically go. It's, oh, good. Okay. it's your item. What do you mean? Did you find the moon shadow lantern? Oh. The what? I mean, uh, I guess so. There was this weird lantern thing in the cave that was creating this darkness aura. I pulled it out of the cave because I didn't really know what it was doing, and then it still stayed there, but the only way we could keep it from going everywhere was by putting it in my backpack so I have it in here. It is good you figured it out. We... We lost that of two years ago. Oh. Well, do you want it back? 
Yes, we would appreciate that. Okay, can I... I, c I can bring it to wherever you want it. I just don't want to take it out, because otherwise we won't be able to see. We can leave it in the sanctum when we arrive. Okay. Is there somewhere where I can have alone time to sleep? Sure. Ichthyus oh, will show go. you to a, a chamber you may use. <gasps> Yay! Well, I guess um, enjoy your guys' time in the rectum. Uh, I'll be there. Hi. Why, just... why are you all laughing? Oh, the, the sphincter. Okay. Yeah. No, nope. sanctum. Sanctum. Bless you. I'll Thanks. see you later. I just look at Turk and I'm like, it's like I like nod to go after him because I don't want her to be mm. alone. Yep. You, Turk and Wiggly Snake Arm Boy go off in that direction. Wiggly I'm waiting for us to enter this sanctum. It's going to be like a weird, like, stone, like, enclosed little circle thing. It's, the Nebby's going to be right all along. It is the rectum. You never know. <laughs> just smells awful in there. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the caves in the mountains the of this land. There could be a big titan we're walking into right now. Who knows? <gasps> the rectum. Are we at the asshole of the time? <laughs> I, anatomy was on Not again. I'm telling you. Not again. Every time ah. I put you guys near a titan, you know? We have to check out the butt. We touched the butt. You make your way down a few more winding halls and eventually uh, come into this room that's very well torch lit in um, many corners. The room spreads about 50 feet across and maybe around 100 feet long. And you can see just all kinds of writing and imagery on the walls, just carved right into the stone. And in the center of the room, you see what seems to be um, just a singular altar. Huh. So, what is it you wish to know first? I don't know. I was just curious about it. it was all... I haven't really learned much about other religions besides Celestia, so it just caught my interest, I guess, since it involved dragons and just things I'm not really used to. Other people hearing about, really. They are not dragons, they are serpents. I'm sure you have seen, of course, the moon serpent. Mm -hmm. And she just references on one of the wall. Of course, as many people in this world know, the moon serpent is what lights the night sky. But it also causes darkness, and our people believe that one day it will cause eternal darkness. It also controls the water tides. It controls much more than that. Shadows life, death in some senses. You can have some control over all of them. It seems that despite your differences, the moon serpent has touched even you. Gestures towards Rex. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I've heard stories that Clarus can sometimes speak to their gods well what would you like to say uh, I don't know <laughs> that is horrifying you must stare <laughs> into the god's eyes I really don't just... want to <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying uh, I go pee pee okay. thank you for leaving us with this <laughs> what a horrifying image I had to look at <laughs> What is it doing? <laughs> See how it goes starting to get like pinkish red? Oh god. It's just the background's melting in. Oh no. I know. Oh god. It's like corrupt I, imagery. I, I guess my my thing when it comes to everything is I was taught Celestia by a human. So I don't know how far this goes if I'm even 
worthy enough to talk to the god. I'm not human. It is human very simple to speak to one as great as the moon serpent. However, it is rare that it may speak back. The only times you can get a clear answer are through sacrifice. Either mm. of your own or another. And to be honest with you, the Chancellor has outlawed the practice of sacrifice in this sanctum. That makes sense. So we must find ways to sacrifice by other means. Hmm. And then you can be granted clarity, power, much more. The Chancellor may not like to admit it, but he has gained much. I really thought of it that way. Even those who do not openly worship this serpent, they still find a way to earn its blessing. Until one day, and you just gestures to the next part of the wall, <clears throat> it'll be all they have left. As just the, the one serpent just completely devours what seems to be a serpent depicting the sun in this carving. Mm. I would assume many of your people would assume this to be a, a bad day. Probably. But it is simply the changing of the tides, if you were. Are the trees granted magic from the moon serpent or the sun serpent? I would assume parts of both. Okay, okay. They could not grow without both, perhaps. For if it was eternal sun, the world would burn into pile of sand and ash. Or so people think. So, from anything, can I, I have a thought of how the world is like, is it a physical, like, disc? And then there's the... We have our side and then the other side. And then the moon and sun rotate around... I assume this is a question like, for the DM. Yes. <laughs> around it. So when he's speaking of, like, eternal moon, it would be, like, stopping the rotation. Or, like, the That'd be the one moon, way to say it, yeah. Because the Cause moon yes, has as a you lot described, of like, yeah. gravity. Flat world, sun and moon spiraling around it. So then you just stop one. Or the moon the consuming the, the sun is my th mm -hmm. my thought process on it as so well. It's like from catching the up drawings. to it then? Because like chasing the other. Because yeah. the moon, at least from what I know from human world, is mm -hmm. that the the moon has a huge gravitational pull, which is why we get waves. Because the magnetic pull, the waves are pulling to wherever the moon is on our axis so that's why like so if you have like water on this side of the earth and then the moon mm. goes like this the water is going to follow it which is why you get like big water patterns because the water is moving the earth is moving and then the moon is moving as well so like if our planet our land isn't circular is it rotating this way well, from most people's all? knowledge in this world, the moon doing anything is just a crazy crackpot theory. 
it's obviously that Ransanamun, oh. the, the water titan, is the one that controls the waves. Hmm. Gosh. Would I have any, like, inclination or, like, readings of, like, that not being the case? Is he, is this, um, I don't know. Is just trying but... to pull the science over religion card. <laughs> it seems that, um, <laughs> from your perspective, um, there are many different ways that, um, the different cultures here view the world. Mm -hmm. The, you know, most prevalent common one is, okay, the Titans, um, all have a different effect on the world. This one that you're on right now brought life to much of the world. And, you know, one brings seasons, one brings storms, so on and so forth. It seems that um, they are portraying that pretty much the um, the moon, uh, Titan in mm -hmm. this case, would just be um, pretty much dominant over all of the other ones and pretty much the reason for what everyone claims that they do. Mm -hmm. And the reasoning why there might be eternal darkness. Yep. This, the moon Doomsday, baby. consume the sun at some point. But they and don't then the Titans will thing. have no power. Because they think that it. the Titans don't have any power as it is. That's my thought process, what I'm interpreting here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. from, from what they're hinting at, the. Yeah, they're not so. The Day much of one Darkness is something the they want. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're down for the Day of Darkness. That They may have hinted at a bit of human sacrifice being going down. Yeah. Um, that's outlawed for some unholy reason. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why. Crazy. Wrong. Yeah, that is the perspective they're painting out for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just... Do you think that this... this goddess of Celeste, what was it? Celestia. You think that they are certainly someone's depiction... <clears throat> Of the serpent. I guess in a way. We believe that those of lesser mind simply believe it to be one of those titans, but that could be another way to look at it. Hmm. I was curious how the titans fitted into all this. They are large bodies and land masts of which exist but if they were true titans gods entities of power would they truly be dead inert just a pile on the ground well i mean gods aren't all seeing they that is where you are wrong just gestures up towards the sky. The moon sees all. Is it open sky or is it just cave? There is very much this uh, carved out column that goes all the way up to the sky. And you can see just a bit of a um, little bit of sunlight poking in right now. It's not nighttime um, at all. But... Yeah. We could imagine that the moon at its like apex would like shine a little moonlight. Yeah. Because, mm. of course on a scientific level, the moon does not have a separate axis than the sun rotation in this world, and it's not two separate entities entirely. They, they do seem to follow the same path. Okay. Just like stationary disc. Yep. And then just going around it. Big circle. Awesome. <clears throat> Big circle. Not that anyone could even fathom going close enough to the moon to see if that's actually the case, but... Maybe someday. I'll build a rocket ship. <laughs> I'll fly us to the moon. Take her to the moon for me. Good line. Uh, hold on. I, have, I think I have other questions. And as you see, that is why we do not support... Everything else that everyone says and rambles about. The trees being all powerful. The ocean being all powerful. It's 
Everyone has something different to say. But until you experience it, you don't know. Hmm. Well, I've been inside many Titan before, so uh, I know that they exist and that they are beings of great power, and so I can say with, with quite certainty that they are uh, true power here. And they can't move. Correct, because we don't let them. Ah, you control your gods. Understood. Seems to be just sarcastically humoring you at this point. <laughs> well, yes, we do what we do to make sure that we keep them safe so they don't go to the other side. Yes, Titans watch you keep control of all of them. Well, yes. It's part of our duty to protect the world. And how well do you take control of the day and night serpent? Well, we don't have to do yeah. that. They're not dangerous to the world. And why are they not? Because they haven't done anything to cause the world any harm. At least to my knowledge. So, something that does not ca ha cause harm yet is not dangerous. I mean... A knife in a child's hand would not be dangerous. Well... A child had not done anything yet. Do we have yes. any... Do we have any record within Titans Watch if a Titan has risen on the other side before? But, like... Like, what's the history there of, like, oh, did a titan rise, and then they took care of it, and they were like, oh, no, we can't let the rest of them do that. We there gotta stop it. There is no recorded history of a titan, like, on the other side. You don't really have history okay. of the other side to begin with. Um, but, okay. yeah, all the uh, titans, except for the sun and the moon, are yeah. basically accounted for. It's pretty much supposition at this point okay. from Titans, titans Watch. Mm-hmm. And that's why some people are just of the opinion, like, let them go to the other side. What's the worst that could happen? And then the Titan's yeah. perspective would be like, the worst is the worst that could happen. Yeah. There would be no islands or continents. They would just disappear. They would go <laughs> underwater. It would be very bad. Titans watch very much prefer to keep the status quo than <clears throat> discover what awaits. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am of the opinion is if we thought that the moon and the sun serpent were hurling towards us or had the potentiality of hurling tor towards us, we'd probably get together with very magical, very strong magical beings to try and prevent that from causing a doomsday, just like... We're trying to prevent the Titans from going to the other side so that there still can be life on this side of the world. Um, and then not, in turn, destroying the other side, which, by our books and knowledge, has potential life over there. So we'd be da damning them, too. So if there's no Titans to hold up the ground, then there wouldn't be anything for the moon serpent to destroy we'd all be dead we'd be drowning in the water if that is what you say from what from what I've read and understood of recorded documents that's what I yeah that's what we know from what I read it is one that worshipped the Sun Serpent who did most of this titan slaying you speak of. Oh. So it sounds like it is different. Why? Levels entirely. Why? How, how and why? Why did the Sun... How, how did the Sun Serpent slay all the titans? Why didn't the Moon Serpent help if they were that detrimental to them walking around instead of being dormant? That is the Moon Serpent's will. 
To not do anything? Or to do something else. Oh. History is not always accurate by books. How old do these carvings look? They look probably a couple hundred years old, not older mm -hmm. than that. Okay. And how long ago did the sun serpent kill the titans? Longer? Um, than that? that history would be a, a thousand years or older. Oh. Did you move in old. here and these were here? Or did you write these as like Our a memory thing? people carved them from memory, yes. And how old is your lineage? How long do you want to Thousands upon thousands of years. Our lives are much shorter than that, obviously. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We have not always lived here in these mountains. I figured. That is true. As you I know assumed why? you heard, Zensu is who brought many of us here, many of our ancestors here. Um. Do you know why the Sun Serpent killed all the Titans? Well, it imbued some mortal to at least aid in killing them. Why? I cannot be certain. Mm. One of these mortals happened to kill Infernum. It's Titan. To my knowledge, yes. I'm not an expert on this topic. Hmm. Interesting. But yes, the Shining Dragonborn Hero. Many of your people like to talk about. Yes. Augustus the Radiant. I know. Ah, yes. That is his name. Champion of the Sun Serpent. Yep. I know the name all too well. Hmm. And how do you feel about him? Well, people enjoy his presence, that's for sure. Enjoy the story. There is value in whatever stories can be told. But anyway, it seems that we are talking in circles, much like the sun and moon themselves. Never quite able to meet an end point. Perhaps I should show the rest of you to the chambers to rest. I'd appreciate that. Where may I put the um, lantern that you talked about? She goes over and uh, opens up what seems to be um, an urn of some kind. Put it in here. Okay. Give me... It's like a grab the urn. All right, close your eyes. Oh, it's about to get dark in here. Why are we gonna close our eyes if it's gonna get dark? Then <laughs> pulls it out, <laughs> puts it in the urn. Oh no, it's even darker now. Right. <laughs> My she eyes puts the closed. top over the urn, and suddenly you can all see again. Here you are. Hmm. Thank you. Did any of our stuff get stolen in that split second? I very much just doubt it <laughs> it seems that everything you're holding is still held and your are still <laughs> backpacks are still closed cool yeah. consider this a gift from titan's watch as a thank you for your help for us i appreciate the nobility of titan's watch to be able to gift us our own relics back <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, where are you going with that? Yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, huh? I was like, yeah, a gift that was theirs. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> it's like Iggy's now and he's giving so it funny. back. Very well. Uh, 
She begins to walk out of the chamber. You eventually make your way to uh, find Anemone and Chork. And just oh. what seems to be like similar to what would be like a guard barracks, but carved into stone and, you know, suitable for snake people. Hmm. So it's just rows of bunks, places to sleep. I will let you all rest. You may leave whenever you please. Thank you. We appreciate it. And she walks out. It's just you guys in the room now. What the heck? It was really strange the things that she was telling us. Very odd. Well, every no. religion's different. I'm looking at Rex. What? Stun imbued immortal. Augustus this the radiant champion of the sun? Yes. I'm sorry, but I feel like dots are connecting here and I want to know why. Why are you like <clears throat> uh, uh, with magic, but then the sun serpent has imbued this person with great power, but like, but you've... Do you think I'm that person? Yeah. Well, I'm not a thousand years old. Or are you? It, no, it's I'm It's a not. different Augustus. I was I named think. after Augustus. Oh. Sorry to ruin your crackpot theory of me being a thousand <laughs> plus years old. That's the, the, you know, there's the what coming out of the ash. I'm just like, I don't want to put the pieces together. I'm so confused. Why do you think I don't like going by my first name? Because people like automatically assume that it's yeah. There you sure go. He's all powerful, but more. Than hey, hey, hey! I was is. once. I was once. I will say that I was powerful once. You get the life sucked out of him by the moon serpent. It's more like the life got sucked out of me from starvation. But yes, that's why I knew what she was talking about. Just an old story that everyone... Well, most Dragonborns know. It really is just a matter of, like, opinion or, like, what you read. Because they, for a thousand years, have been like, Ah, yes, the Moon Serpent. Sentient being and all-powerful. And then, like... We've been on the other side of, like, the Titans are all-powerful. We need to protect, or we need to stop them from going to the other side. So, like, it's a matter of, like, information trickling down from different sources that, like, I mean, we kind of accomplished the same thing, but they kind of seem like they want d destruction, which is kind of, it's kind of dumb in my opinion, because if if the if the moon serpent enacts their power or literally is just a floating rock that like just crashes into us they're all going to be dead they're not, not going to be able to worship the god <laughs> that's if it enacts power what did they get you all went from? through a lot didn't you it was a religious journey here you go Tori. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, I know a bit about Infernum. I don't know too much, but I know a bit. I'm assuming Infernum is different than the sun. Well, Infernum but... is the Titan. Yeah. So. Was that like the hardest one to take down? Because it was like flame versus flame. And it was like. <sighs> I don't know. I don't really care. Just my people like knowing that a dragonborn has slain a Titan. Single-handedly by their count. Yeah. Oh, it's all just like a pissing contest, essentially. Well, why do you think so many Dragonborns where I live are so eager to fight and to show how powerful they are? And why do you think there's constant wars happening? Yeah, but they were imbued by a god a thousand years ago. They'll never get that again. 
to say. It's like they're, they're chasing after a dream that's never going to happen. Because if I'm being completely honest, if I was a god and people were like, mer like, if I imbued someone with power to help me take down a titan, and then the race, that an entire race that followed them decided to hurt, kill, and do a lot of other unfathomable, nasty things to one another and innocent people, why would I ever look down on them and go, you know what? You deserve my power again. Here you go. You have proved to me after slaughtering those six children and R-A-P-E-ing those people over there and sending your hellhounds after each other's clans. Here's, here's my power. Take it. Like, what? That seems so stupid and, like, single-minded. Well, you do realize there's bad gods, too, right? <laughs> Not every god is nice. Very much like I... people. Exactly. I'm never. I'm not even understand that there these things were gods. I was just understanding that there was titans that controlled specific things because they're giant magical beings, and then there are the there's the sun and the moon, and they control specific aspects because of nature and potentially their own magics. Not something I looked into, but gods existing outside of those like what six titans and two two uh serpents <laughs> so like i didn't even understand that there were different gods until now <laughs> until i met you you said you worshiped a god but i just the way that you made it sound was just like yep it's just like a rock that floats up there, and then there's like a little person on it, and it's like, Higa, here's magic. Here's some powers. Because, like, I tried to look up Celestia, and all I found was like this thing. Well, I didn't look it up. Wick looked it up. Like, but all they found was about how it's a, it's a humanoid figure, a figure as well. So, like, it's a humanoid woman, as far as I know. Yeah. So, like, are they actually are gone? Are they, are they humanoid? Because humans follow the religion as, like, the, as what's their face was saying? It's a lot of questions that no one has answers to. If I ever speak to her, I'll let you know. Try. What, what do you mean, try? What do you just want to start praying and be like, hey, yeah. we should just talk? Go, just go, hey, girl. <laughs> what's up? What's the deal? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how praying to gods works. I could try and help you. But I don't know. I don't think she'll talk to you, let alone... No, me. I don't think she'll talk to me either. But I mean, like, I can try and, like, I don't know, set up some, like, candles or, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try praying later. Okay. I don't... When everyone goes to sleep, so you don't have to see me do it. <laughs> Are you prey years. shy? That's not the point. The point is it's supposed to be quiet and ah. with no interruption. And you can watch, Wait, maybe, but I just need maybe, you to be quiet. <laughs> maybe Iggy can do that thing that he did with. Oh no, he got married to an Ebony. Uh, what? Didn't you guys sit like facing each other doing something and you were like shirtless? Making oh holy yeah. Water. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a ceremony yeah. to make holy water. Didn't anemone say you got married though? But that I feel like anemone. anemone says a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things people shouldn't believe. Hey, look, like I said, I don't know. Wanna, you want to watch me pray? Go for it, but just be quiet. She's yeah. sleeping. <laughs> what? What about it? Tor just points over at Anemone and just gives a thumbs up to Rex. He's oh. in a slump. <laughs> the one person that's going to be loud during this yeah. is asleep. He's quiet. Only a uh, week? You're married for life. What the, what's the point? Fine. I guess <laughs> I guess I can pray. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna set up like 
and be like little spots for like little fires, all like tinder stuff for in like a cave. Grab some like tinder. Well, I mean, I have sometimes. priest stuff, so. Okay, well then I'll help you set it up. Okay. Do a little fire breath to put the candles. Oh, good touch, good touch. Ugh. Don't mock me while I do this. <laughs> and I get on my knees, put my hands together. <sighs> Celestia, one of your holy guardians is trying to communicate to you. To so find answers in your moonlight. May you take a moment and listen. If, if there's a, any way for you to connect to me, please do. So I just wait, see if anything happens. Make a religion check. Okay. I want to use Flash of Genius. <laughs> a flash of genius. I still have two. Religion. I still have two. That's interesting. Just it's it's an ability. So we can use science to help you reach God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna like put up dancing lights and I'll like change them to like a She's yellowy, like, like a yeah. like a silvery color. You know what? Actually, you know what I'll do? Because I can connect all four globules of light, I'm going to re recreate the silhouette that I saw in the book of. The woman I saw of Celestia. I'm gonna recreate it so that she's like standing over Rex. And, like, okay. Got her hands on her his shoulders. So, so Rex, five. you you say your words, try to seek out any feeling, and before you appears this figure of a woman of light. Seems to be shifting about a little bit. It's just Wick casting this glowing yeah. moon, but... What do you do? Are you, are you trying to... Do you think he's going to buy this? <sighs> I, like, look up for, like, just a second. I'm just like... I know I haven't been the best of priests or the best... in general. But... If there's ever a time for you to communicate with me, I hope that you take the chance to. And hopefully you can accept a different being than the usual people who worship you into your moonlight. As you make your prayer and wait... You don't get any specific response. Mm. But you feel similar to other times you've prayed in the past. That you feel something, but there's no obvious sign, especially no sign that anyone else could see or feel. Mm. Thank you, Celestia. We'll talk again soon. And then just open my eyes. And I get up. I'm just like, see? That's the usual. Are there any temples to Celestia? Of course. Would but it be better to I pray am. there? Oh. I mean, we're going back to my homeland at some point. Could be worth yeah. looking into, maybe. I don't know, maybe your god can imbue you with power similar to the sun god. Come maybe. crazy strong. Enough to slay a titan. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. If I, if I was able to slay a titan, it would have been better years ago when I was at my full strength. Maybe I would have had a better chance. You can get back to that. 
I don't know from what I've seen in the last fight. Okay. No, I wouldn't be better, but I'd say neither of us are slaying any titans anytime soon. And hopefully you're we correct, have, we but progress is still it. progress. Yeah, I hope we don't. I don't. I hope we don't have to slay a titan, but we could grow and get better. Well, if we ever do, let's just hope it's not inferno. We have to fight a titan. Well, Infernum is the titan no, I know. fire, rage, destruction. I don't I think know. we'd want to fight that one if we had to. It's called Infernum the Eternal Frenzy for a reason. Hmm. Lava still flows like bloodlines in him. Boo. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to bed. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I prayed. I got my same answer as usual. I'm gonna hit Try again side. tomorrow. You never know. Maybe. All right, is everyone going to bed now? I'd say so. Sleep. Ah, uh, uh, scary stay. Dark Souls music. No, I'll stay up. <laughs> I was already there, though. That didn't change. Wait, well, I should have did, technically. Right. I will keep watch. Okay. So you guys hang out for a little bit longer. Get some sleep. Wick, you uh, keep watch. Just feeling real tired and exhausted. Mm. Does everyone else get some sleep? Do you wake anyone up to uh, take over or... Are you good? Yeah. I'm gonna wake up Iggy. Uh, is it time for something? I'm tired. Else? Can you watch? Make sure they don't try and kill us in our sleep. Sure. I Thanks. Sit down. <clears throat> and I curl up. I watch. All right. Iggy, could you make a perception check? Sure. Those are wonderful things I can do. Oh, okay. All right. As you're sitting here, you occasionally see guards pass the room outside. And every time, they always give a good long look inside the room that you're sitting in. Hmm. But they walk by, don't say anything. Do you get the feeling that people are constantly checking on you? I would do the same thing. All right, do you pass watch off to anyone else? Um, is it only uh, or only only doing two hours watch, or is it four? As long as you choose. Because if well, looked at four, if you do a sorry, full four would... hours watch, then you ain't getting a full long rest. But. Yeah, it would be it would be three, three, and three, I think, because Milo used to be able to do four and four. Oh, right. Yeah, Milo but did he, change up the schedule for you guys a lot, so because say, he can transfer four hours and then he can he would meditate or he would be awake for four hours and transfer four hours. But trancing right. is like a meditation, so like he's still awake yeah, technically, still so we could all that. sleep. So we'd have we to get have a minimum of six yeah, hours. I could I could be so meta and and. Say Ignatius would totally forget about that completely because we've not taken a long rest. But I, I feel like you, I'll, I'll be, I'll be nice. You have taken long rests since that. You just haven't thought about. Probably haven't. Watch. We haven't articulated it in that same way. Yeah. Then yeah. I guess. I'm gonna could sleep for twenty hours if we let her. <laughs> you know what? I will. So yeah, you probably only want to watch for two hours if you want to fully yeah. rest. Then, then all right. Then I'll go. still go for two hours and I'll go get a. Uh, I'll get Jorik up next, I guess. All right. Short gets up, takes the next watch. Similarly, people just keep checking in on you guys. And let's see how much Chork feels his life is in danger if he wakes up an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> if he can wake her up. Yeah, so we all just see Chork kind of standing in the room like, 
Looking over towards Rex. Looking over towards Anemone. He walks over and pokes Rex on the shoulder. <laughs> Smart Good choice. Good man. None. <laughs> Time for your watch. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. Seems they're uh, keeping a close eye anyway, though. Makes sense. We may have helped them, but we're still strangers to them. Shark walks over to his bunk, lays down. Cool. For my two hour watch, I'm going to fiddle around with one of my other abilities I've never used before, but I'm going to just. <laughs> I'm going to roleplay it that I'm learning and teaching myself how to use it. <laughs> okay. Like I did with the Divine uh, Strike. Very good. Uh, I'm going to fiddle around and teach myself uh, Bless Strikes. Okay. Fun. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. I like... I could have used it in the last battle, but I was like, I liked how I did the divine thing. So I was like, I should teach myself how to use these before mm -hmm. I just throw them in battle. We love learning stuff instead of just knowing it. Yeah, true. So what that does is it allows me to add a 1d8 to radiant damage whenever I use a cantrip or a weapon. But oh, geez, even my cantrips. Nice. Yes, it works on cantrips. That's huge. So as does long as I hit, I can add an additional 1d8. Of radiant Ooh, so, on top. So of it. it's like a free smite, essentially. Basically, it's like a free smite. Yep. And I can use it every turn, I think. Every long rest, I thought. Uh, once you deal this damage, you can't use this feature again until the start of your next turn. Oh, next turn. I, I read the. It, it does word turn. that like they do when they yeah. say long rest, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the once Start of your turn. next day. <laughs> yeah, it's just once yeah. a turn. Why it's they a... got to word it like that, but yeah. Yeah. It's just additional radiant damage that I can now deal. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, so an hour passes of you messing it up, and then eventually, um, Selenace, the familiar Yuan T woman, goes and steps outside the doorway. Mm. She just like begins staring at you. <laughs> Good evening. Seems that. You do have some of the night serpents within you. I would love for it for me to like finally get this thing down. For me mm -hmm. to have like a, a toll of the dead. And then you see like the necrotic damage come out and then you immediately see it shift into radiant damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I control both like the undead and the light. So it's the darkness and the light at the same time. I think it'd be an interesting visual for her to see. Would you like to try something? What do you have in mind? A ritual that may be able to awaken more of your abilities. Sacrifice, sacrifice, <laughs> sacrifice. Uh, depends what goes into it. Risk. Oh, my life for a long time has been risk. What's another one? And I get up. Okay. She <laughs> uh, gestures for you to follow. Uh, oh boy. Do I wake someone up beforehand? Probably not. <laughs> I probably just go. <laughs> probably don't wake anyone up and I'll just, I'll follow all right oh you know what I will do though if there's locks on these doors I'll lock it just to make sure from the inside so that way no one can get in from the outside I'll say it's kind of like an open thing there's no like it's just like a yeah. little push or whatever okay. I'd say for this there's probably not even a door specifically on it just like a doorway yeah. And okay. that's why everyone's okay. been able to walk by and just kind of eye you guys up. Hmm. All right. She leads you down to the uh, same sanctum as before. Mm -hmm. And now you see a bunch of uh, other Yuan-Ti 
of just like varying sizes, just kind of in white robes, just standing around the corners of the room. In my head? That's not menacing at all. <laughs> and she walks over to the altar in the middle of the room. Hmm. I would like to try something. Okay. So I'm just like looking at all these robed figures. Lay around down me. on this table. God. Uh. <sighs> the pens. Am I about to be sacrificed? <laughs> yes. As I said, the sacrifice and risk is our way of showing devotion. Fear is natural. But you must overcome it to commit full sacrifice. So how does sacrificing myself enhance my abilities? I'd be dead. Perhaps you would not. What? <laughs> Do you trust in Celestia? I do. Then perhaps she or the Night Serpent will protect you. If you I'll are fearful, table. you can still leave. Oh, I'll go lay it out. <laughs> and yeah, you see her walk over to the side and uh, open one of the urns on the side. And she pulls out what seems to be this silvered dagger. Mm. And just places it in front of her. Hmm. Are you sure you're prepared? Uh, as prepared as I'll ever be. She opens up another one of the urns and pulls out the lantern as all of the uh all of the room around her goes completely dark. Hmm. And you just see this wall of shadow just moving slowly towards you. And everything is silent for a moment. You don't hear her footsteps anymore. You don't hear anything but the gentle flicker of torches on the other sides of the room. But without warning, you feel the cold stab of a dagger piercing into your neck. Hmm. And that is where we'll end the session. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> hey, look, you know, sometimes <laughs> just got to see what happens. They said human sacrifice was illegal. It was. <laughs> Probably they still didn't say is. anything about dragonborn sacrifice. <laughs> oh, my God. Little do they know that when Rex goes to zero hit points, he explodes. Yeah, boom! <laughs> You are the chosen one. Did he get a long rest? Cause he slept from. The yes. Yeah, get the I long did. Rest. Yeah, I have a long rest. So he would have it up. Who is the sent? Who is the sending stones? Anemone and Rex. I think so. Yep. At this point, with everything Rex goes off on his own and gets in trouble with, I'll always leave a sending stone on that boy. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I know, man. We thought it'd you be know. an enemy who'd be the troublemaker. Rex is the one getting into constant issues. I don't need the sending stone. I need to put a beeper <gasps> on him. <laughs> a bell or something. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> when he walks out of the room. Ding, 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 ding. Like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> he's, he's like constantly under house arrest. He has a little bracelet on his leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go past, like, you go too yeah. far from Ash. Just, just like, ding, 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 ding. Or I just get shocked. 
Can I ritual cast alarm on? <laughs> so you, you use wire for it. Can you I put lie. it on Rex's leg and cast alarm on it? So anytime Rex does something stupid, it goes off. Turns yeah. out it's going off constantly in your ears. It's weird. Rex is moving. <laughs> ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. What a laugh. Because the last time I cast alarm for all of us, Milo just walked out of it. Yeah. <laughs> because he's an ally. So I need to put it on like... <laughs> I have to like invert it somehow. I don't know. You can protect them from anything but themselves. Yeah. Wow. Me, me during that entire sequence red flags everywhere but i'm also interested wee -woo, wee -woo. <laughs> but i'm also really curious because even earlier when like you know the discussion was going on about the you know the moon surfing and the sun surfing and everything like rex was intrigued he was he was curious yeah no it seems like aspects of he was he was very curious about is it certainly closer to the celestial yeah. worship that you do than any of the other stuff you've heard so. yeah so he was like very curious so that's why when when iggy was getting ripped apart rex thought it was funny because he was like oh it's something i never get to see yeah about just this stuff like it's like wow it's an so expert different. roasting his religion okay great yeah i know i sort of say i don't see it <laughs> so it was like it was very interesting to him and he like agreed with a lot of the stuff it's fun playing devil's advocate against my own lore that I'm building. It's great. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yes, if that you is. If I'm back more powerful, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I'll be mad too. I just got if stabbed in the get, neck. If you don't get some crazy. That's like one of the only places I have like actual scales still that are intact. <laughs> Mine is one more scale. Some... Yeah. Next session, we could start feet. off. We could start from the other side next session. Who knows? It's just Rex waking up and he's like. There are so many Where fun ways I? to start next session. I'm excited <laughs> to plan it. No. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, we're probably not starting on Rex. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh god. We're all dead because we didn't have a bodyguard anymore. <laughs> Everyone dead. All of us died. Yeah. They killed us in our sleep. Human sacrifice. Uh, Dragmore. No one's watching us. Okay. So we and shall see. A goat person. <laughs> we'll see what happens next time. Ah. And I believe we are all available for next week's session. Let's see. Yes. Yep. All right. Then I think the one after that is uh, probably no, but <clears throat> I didn't look at the day specifically. So we shall see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll find out when the time comes. Uh, Rex doing good stuff to get into trouble. Excited to see where that goes. And. Maybe next week we'll either see Banzai or something great and terrible. So, thank you for all watching. Any final words from anyone before we get out of here? Mm -mm. I won't stop. Look, if y'all were in my shoes, you would have did it too. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I think I, I would have as a, as a player. A part of me wouldn't but... want to, but uh, I don't know. Part of me was like very against it, but I was like, just gotta see it's all gotta it's all based on your character goes. if i was playing someone who had like way higher like who who was like more i mean i'm chaotic neutral but like more leaning on like chaotic chaotic neutral like low <laughs> int like maybe but like i feel like because because such high int it's like yeah i don't think this is barred yeah like for rex he definitely saw the red flags but again he was interested but like mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. just like I just gotta see what happens, I guess. And then like I want to get, I, he, like he wants to get stronger. So yeah. if there's a way to get stronger, he's gonna take it. All right. Well, we'll see you guys yeah. soon. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week. We're gonna go enjoy some food, and we'll mm -hmm. see you next Friday. Titties. Titties. Oh my god, that.